वेलकम ऑल दिस इज नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन टोपोलॉजी सीरीज इन दिस वील सी वन मोर थियरम रिगार्डिंग लोकल कनेक्टेडनेस एंड देन वी विल हेड टू कॉम्पैक्ट स्पेसिस सो लेट एस सी थियरम थियरम स्टेट्स दैट इफ एक्स इज टोपोलॉजिकल स्पेस देन ईच पाथ कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ एक्स लाइज इन अ कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ एक्स एंड फर्दर इफ एक्स इज लोकली पाथ कनेक्टेड देन द कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड पाथ कॉम्पोनेंट्स आर सेम टू प्रूव दिस लेट एक्स बी अ टोपोलॉजिकल स्पेस एंड पी बी एनी पाथ कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ एक्स देन वी विल हैव For all x1, x2 belonging to P, there will exist a continuous function f from closed interval a b to x such that f of a is equal to x1 and f of b is equal to x2. And as we know, closed interval a b is connected and f is continuous map. So image of closed interval a b will also be connected subspace of x. That is, f of closed interval a b will also be connected subspace of x. And further, x1 and x2 will belong to f of closed interval a b. So what does this mean? P belongs to f of closed interval a b. and we know that connected subspaces entirely lie within a component so f of closed interval ab must lie in one of the component of x so suppose f of closed interval ab lies in c where c is some component so what we get p belongs to c and that's what we wanted to prove and moreover if we consider x is locally path connected then what will be our claim path component p is equal to component c Suppose on contrary that P is properly contained inside C and let Q denote union of all components of X that are different from P and that intersects C then clearly these components will completely lie inside C as C is a component and further P union Q is equal to C and as we are assuming X is locally path connected each path component in X will be open so what we get P and Q are disjoint non empty open sets such that p union q is c and p intersection q is empty so what does this means p and q forms separation of c which is a contradiction as c is component c is connected therefore p has to be equal to c